This is Jamshed, CSAP, Module 1, Book 1, Topic 1, Supply Chain Model. First, we will discuss about the definition of supply chain by Apex. Global network used to deliver product and services from raw material to end customer through an engineered flow of information, physical distribution and cash. Let's go into a little detail of this definition. So, supply chain comprises of both entities and process. Entities, you can say the customer is an entity, the, the supplier is an entity, the manufacturer is an entity. All these entities need to constitute a supply chain. So, other we can have a process. Process can be like product, primary product flow, primary cash flow, and reverse, reverse product flow. This is all the process. Here we're discussing about the process. So here the apex scope is the global one. It's not looking to the local. So the more focus is on the global supply chain. And here comes the companies like Walmart, Boeing and the Caterpillar. These companies have the global scope. So, you know, other thing is that globally means either worldwide or are applied to the supply chain as a whole rather than a particular entity in supply chain so this you can you can um, you know consider that the f-16 you know this is made in usa some of its components come from turkey maybe some of other companies come from from other companies so as a whole we, we you know as a whole we consider the supply chain then it's it's it has a, that needs to me that means to have a global scope. Uh, look at the picture one dash three the basic supply chain of our product. Now we come towards the very basic model of the supply chain. A very basic model of the supply chain needs three entities: the supplier, the producer, the customer. Uh, the supplier is a person who are the entity who, who provides the raw material to the producer then producer convert the raw material into finished good and give it to the customers so the, for the basic supply chain we need to have three entities you need to remember this thing and they have basically four flows in the supply chain first was in the information flow that is moving along the supply chain from from back to end and end towards the back so this you can look at a broader side like the information is flowing from the customer to supplier supplier to the customer then we come to the primary product flow like the raw material is physically given to the producer then it converts into the product and then it physically given to the customer or an end user then we come towards the primary cash flow it is moved from the customer then to the producer then to the supplier then we come toward the reverse product flow reverse product flow is is uh, really important this is also a process like for example if something is damaged then it moves towards the producer or the company who is manufacturing it then it decides how to uh, either to dispose of this one either to recycle this one there, there's a big topic in the, the apex for the csep about this reverse product flow thank you